China earthquake killed dozen as tremors shake lockdown Chengdu. At least 65 people have been killed in a strong earthquake that struck southwestern China and was felt by millions of people confined to their homes under a strict COVID lockdown in Chengdu. The 6.6 magnitude quake hits about 26 miles southeast of the city of Kangding at a depth of about 6 miles, the U.S. Geological Survey said. Chinese state broadcasters said that 17 people died in a Jian city, while 29 deaths were reported in neighboring Ganzi prefectures. Another 16 people were missing and 50 were injured. Tremors also shook buildings in the Sichuan province, capital of Chengdu, and the nearby city of Chongqing. One resident, Chen, said, I felt it quite strongly, and some of my neighbors on the ground floor said they felt it very noticeably. But because Chengdu is under epidemic management, people aren't allowed to leave their residential compounds, so many of them rushed out into their counter yard. CCTV reported that mountain landslide triggered by the quake caused severe damage in at least one town. A road to another town was blocked and telecommunication lines in areas home to more than 10,000 people were severed. The broadcaster said, adding that shocking also forced some power station offline in Gazer and Ja'an. A video posted online by the China Earthquake Network Center showed boulders plunging down mountainside in Lejing County, kicking up clouds of dust as tremor caused telephone lines to sway. State media reported that several aftershocks were recorded in nearby areas. A smaller 4.6 magnitude tremor struck eastern Tibet less than an hour after the initial quake, according to the USGS. Hundreds of rescue workers were dispatched to the epicenters, CCTV reported, showing footage of firefighters in orange jumpsuits boarding lorries and navigation a motorway litter with rocks and other debris. The Sichuan Seismological Authority said more than 1,000 soldiers has been brought in to help rescue workers. Authorities also sent thousands of tents, blankets, and foldables bed to the affected areas, according to the broadcaster. China's President Xi Jinping called for the local authorities to make saving lives the first priority, go all out to rescue people in disaster-stricken areas, and minimize loss of life. CCTV reported, a resident of Chongqing said the quake was pretty noticeable and that it has shaken the lights and furniture in his fifth-floor apartment. An 8.0 magnitude earthquake in 2008 in Sinchuan left tens of thousands of people dead and caused enormous damage. In June, at least four people were killed and dozens more injured in two earthquakes in southwestern China. Authorities in Chengdu extended the city's lockdown on Sunday as coronavirus cases crept up. The region has also endured a summer of extreme weather, with a record-breaking heat wave causing river to dry up in areas including Chongqing. That's it for today. Thank you and goodbye.